Assalamualaikum and welcome to Barbell Junction. I'm your host Azmir and this week we will be talking about female body image with Zati. But before we do that, please go to our YouTube channel and click subscribe. Be sure to turn on the notification so that you will be notified of our new videos. If you like our videos, please give it a like. Leave us a comment and tell us who you'd like us to bring on as guests or what you'd like us to talk about next time. We're also available on Spotify. Okay, testing, testing. All right, I think we're on this time. Okay. Assalamualaikum, Zati. How are you? Uh, Waalaikumsalam. I'm very, 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 very fatigued. No, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, long training session last night. Eh? Yes. Uh, anyway, uh, guys, if you uh, let me just give you a backstory of how I I uh, knew Zati. <laughs> I think uh, you came here when probably when we opened again or mm. thereabouts uh, earlier this year. Yes. And um, interestingly, we never spoken. Yeah, I'm a right? bit shy. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so I've I've always uh, kept my distance lah. Uh, uh, from from actually not just you, just uh, with, with all the ladies that yeah. they come through the door. Can why is that? Malu. Oh. Right? I'm a really shy person. But uh, I think the turning point, <laughs> if you can call it that, was that um, I think it was a couple of weeks ago when myself, Brandon, and Nick. Yes. We were talking about programming and uh, I was uh, throwing out the question <laughs> wh- wh- which programming is the best? Right? And I stepped in. Yeah, and then you weighed in and I thought like, eh? Okay. I'm not so shy anymore. Yeah, so that for <laughs> me was the uh, icebreaker uh-huh. uh, to be honest. And after that, bunyi <laughs> lori. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and after that, uh, apa ni, um, we had that Interview with uh, Iqbal and you saw and then you you texted me on Instagram mm-hmm. and I think at that point I was just like ah, okay let's see if she wants to come on and I just asked you to to be on the podcast. Well, here I am. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, you said yes. <laughs> But uh, that's how uh, basically I we met mm-hmm. and started uh, talking. And uh, so for all of our listeners, for the benefit of our listeners and viewers, uh, can you just quickly introduce yourself before we get into the Uh, topic. Uh, so I am Zati. <laughs> I've been competing in powerlifting. I've been training in powerlifting about two years. Uh, competing about a year and plus. So uh, now my life is just work and powerlifting. Mm. Um, other than that, I guess I've trained other sports in the past, but now I feel like I'm. I finally found the sport that I really, really like, which is powerlifting. Well, what was it before powerlifting? Uh, a, a, a number of things. Uh, so when I was younger, super young, I was in badminton. I was in swimming. Mm. I was. I tried diving as well. I tried. Um, in school, I wasn't really active because I was a bit on the heavy side, mm-hmm. and I was very, you know, a homebody. Right. So I just, I like that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. No. Right. It's nothing. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. No. It's not. It's not that. There's nothing wrong. It's unhealthy for me to just mm. sit. And not yeah, yeah, anything. okay, okay. Yeah. I take my words back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then, yeah. okay. Uh, and then those are the kind of sports that I've tried. And then, when I get when I went to uni, I was more okay. Let's go to classes. Mm. So I joined, I joined Zumba, hit. I've joined okay. spinning. Mm. Any any classes that you can think of, I've joined them. All right. Even I Pilates. I I thought that you were. Saying that when you were in uni, you went to classes. Like, okay, that's that's logical. You should go to <laughs> class. Right? I mean, like okay. like exercises All classes. Right, okay. And then the only thing I haven't done is like probably belly. You know, like that yeah. arm thing. Mm, yeah. Mm. So that is that is my past. I guess training, training wise or sports wise, I've done. Mm, mm. And yeah, now I'm. So so why this why why the switch? What's wrong with Zumba? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that's it. That's a loaded question. Uh, yeah. Let's not get there. <laughs> um. Okay, personally, I wasn't really, um, I wasn't be, I wasn't really able to understand what I was doing with other classes. Mm-hmm. That's why I, I was kind of frustrated. And then one fine day, I was just at a gym, my uni gym. 
So I was at the top floor overseeing the uh, free weights area. Mm-hmm. And I was speaking to uh, one of the trainer there. Actually, I was supposed to join his uh, hit class. Mm-hmm. And he was like, why do you join my class, by the way? Mm. Because of you. Uh, n- no. Uh, not really. Okay, it's not but okay I'm not uh, looking then. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just my time. No, I'm kidding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so he was... He, w- he said to me, um, if you're joining my class to lose weight or to lean up, then I think you should consider doing weights because that's really where things are. And judging from how he looked at that time, his physique, I was like, okay, I should consider his consideration. Well, what do you mean? Uh, I mean? Can you describe for the listeners how mm-hmm. he looked like? Well, just to put, it, just put it, uh, to put things in context. He's a pro bodybuilder. Okay. And he's doing his uh, hit. That's part of his job. Okay. Like he is a trainer at this uni gym mm-hmm. that he does classes for mm-hmm. but yeah he he i mean like he teaches how you how to do hit like mm. macam he would just show a movement one or two reps yeah. and then like okay and you do make, make you suffer right yeah, yeah for one hour and you're like right. oh my god uh. i'm on the floor <laughs> but i bet he's never done it before lah no he doesn't yeah. i don't think he believes in yeah. it he's probably like more weights and then you know on treadmill for 30 minutes like slow so then he 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 told you that if you wanted to uh, lean up or look better. So he was like, uh, if you wanna actually lean up, mm. you should try weights. But he didn't specifically okay. mm. say powerlifting. But he was pointing at a group of people right. that was hand mending the barbell. You mm. see, so me naively thought like, oh, I should you know go there. Mm. And then a um, few days later, I didn't go to them per se, but I just went to the barbell section where right. they had. You know, four racks at the time, mm. and I was just like, oh, "Okay, let's just try a squat." You know, then that night I went on YouTube, mm. as <laughs> everyone well, else. Yes, mm-hmm. how to squat, mm. <laughs> and then you clearly find like the ridiculous, the most ridiculous video ever. Right. Like when I look back, I was like, "Oh my god, it's such a bad form." Mm-hmm. You see, but then at that time, uh, yeah, you didn't know better. Not just that, I was too proud to even ask. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. You know, like mm. the ego was there, like mm. ego lifter. You know. So, um, and then I thought, uh, also, and then one of my friends who was in training for barbell too, he's mm-hmm. my classmate, mm-hmm. and he was like, hey, you've come here too many times, why don't you want to get on a program and like actually compete? Right. He was the one like planted the seed in me, you know, uh. and then I was like, oh, okay, let's consider that. Mm-hmm. And th- this was... Um, or was it your fr- freshman year, no. junior or so senior? No, no, so... I did four years. Mm. So in my third year, I got really, really... It, like, my mental health was really poor. <gasps> okay. Yes. Because I was... You imagine I would go out of the house at like seven in the morning to mm. get as early into the library as possible because I had like a lot of work to do. Uh-huh. Uh, because I was okay. running... I ha- I was in a group project. Right. But with five people, there's only like two person functioning in that group. So okay. So you had to pick up all the weights. Uh, that's the whole... That's life. Yes. Uh, so in a nutshell for you. Yeah, yeah. and then I would go home to the last I would take the last train home and that was like twelve midnight. So same day every day for the uh, entire This is undergraduate? Yes. I don't remember my undergraduate to be <laughs> that Unfortunately difficult. that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. And I was like really stressed out. Um and before that I was joining like my classes kind and then mm. that week uh, that that year I stopped. Right. And one year. One year, okay. I w- uh, completely stopped, and then I did not. I I felt not just I don't like how I look, mm. but also I don't feel good. It, okay, mm, I understand. So I was like, okay, let's. When that year finished, the summer break, I had time in you know at, in the UK. I was mm. like, okay, let's sign up for a gym. Right. And of, of course, I would not do weight. I was like, oh, malasha, like just go to spin treadmill. classes. Ah, okay. mm. I still today and ever since I've ha- hit a treadmill. So mm. ah? yeah, okay. I don't like treadmill. I'm, ju- I'm thinking of getting one treadmill here. <laughs> no. Oh my god! Please don't change this place. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's okay. I mean, like treadmill, yeah. like some f- people, yeah, some, some people, people enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, mm, mm. I just don't. Uh, and I enjoy spinning classes. I would do the the maximum class they had at that time was forty five minutes. I think. Okay. Mm-hmm. That. I remember like Oh my god I'm sweating Or oh, that's like So good That's right. like I get a good workout Because right. that was my mindset At that time Right When you sweat You get a good workout You know uh, I feel like It's not like It's a bad mindset to have It's just that I wasn't 
knowledge uh, knowledgeable, knowledgeable at that yeah. time mm. and then um, that was just me trying to get myself to the gym and then and then that happened that story happened when okay the hit thing mm. happened and then yeah when my ba- my friend asked me if i want to join and then and then um in my uni we have a, a barbell club okay yeah all right shout out to ucl barbell club so the barbell club d- that year recently got back from the uni world so they were kind of like uh, we're talking about powerlifting powerlifting uh, okay. specific mm. powerlifting mm. and um so for you to n- be nominated for worlds correct me if i'm wrong i think it's like you need seven women seven girls to be in the women team oh. to qualify for worlds uni okay. worlds so um and i see like very impressive girls like lifting crazy weights you know i was like as a girl i was like wow like i wasn't intimidated but i was like in awe mm. you know i'm not surprised men can lift weights like right. mm. that's almost you'd be surprised men cannot lift weights <laughs> uh, i do not want to discriminate but i guess uh, but like when mm. i see like you know like at that time in my uni there's there's this girl sabrina shah okay i uh, well, mali No 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 no. She's British. Uh, oh. Sabrina Shah. She um so she was a under 47 junior. Mm. Um and she she had this massive arch almost like Harris's like mm. crazy right like bridge. Mm. And then I was like oh my god. <laughs> this guy this girl can bench big. Right. You know and I still till today I cannot bench like her. And how much did she bench for? I think now she's in the 70 kg bench. I'm not I'm not really updated but okay. I think she mm. bench, you know, more than a plate lah. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know. So that was something young I wanted to I, I was like, oh wow, I want to work towards that. Okay. And then uh the uni club had a head coach who writes program. Mm. So he was the first uh coach that I had who wrote program for me. Mm. Um that was what I learn to like powerlifting mm. because I'm a numerical person you see right I'm such I I I like to see oh my number goes up mm. and how it it all kind of like makes sense mathematically yeah. something so more tangible for you to yeah aim. and so satisfying for me to mm. understand what I'm doing is it is something not just wasted lah so it's not just like I can measure how good the workout is based on like how fatigue I get in the next day or something like that so uh, I mean before we we move on from that um you you I would assume that with all the spinning classes that you took or whatever classes that you took that wasn't giving you that um goal. Yeah. Or is, or is it what was the goal of like a spinning class anyway? Well, at that time it wasn't goal of a spinning class, it was a goal for me to just get to the gym. Okay. But also I'm not going to front. I also like wanted to lose weight at that right. time. Right. Mm. Uh, see at that time my mindset was like oh my god i'm so heavy mm. you know it's like it's like i'm punishing myself for being that way mm. you know mm. and mm. and more than often more most women you can ask any woman like they're like oh my god i've never like i've i've gained so much weight since i turned like, i don't know 21 22 mm. so like they're punishing their body not eating and right. i went through that journey when i was a teenager i was a heavy teenager right I, if you don't mind sharing yeah. like uh how heavy okay at 13 i was this height so i'm 53 okay and my body weight was 80 kg no i rest show I, i wish i can show you a picture I, it's at my like my hometown i was really big you can ask all my school friends the, i was big okay okay and it was obesity lah like it was unhealthy yeah uh and that was it's good that at that time i realized it was unhealthy but i did not know what to do about it Like mm. let alone ask my parents at the time mm, because mm, they mm. were busy with work and all that stuff. Right. Mm. And then who do you turn to your friends, right? Mm-hmm. And I had a best friend at the time, and my best friend said, "Uh, you know, you should actually just like eat uh, two slices of bread at night." And then I'm so used to eat like nasi goreng at night, you know. Uh. <laughs> so like, ah, roti je, like you know, like right. it was so. And then it was so like frustrating, but. When I started to lose all that weight, I was like, and people pay me attention. I was like, oh, not so bad anyway. Oh, you know, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> that is the mindset when you're a teenager. Yeah. Okay. When I was teenager, I went through mm. that thought process, and I wasn't shy to like admit that because yeah. I've grown out of that mindset right. now. You see, right. and um, when I was 
uh, I think, and then I lost, I think from 80, the lightest I've been was when I was 17, which is 50 kilograms, so, yeah. 30 kilos? 30 kilos. I went from a very plump person to very thin to the unhealthy point. There's no problem with being big or small. Right. If that is what you are, then that's that. But I was unhealthy. Like, I did okay. not eat. So you went from one spectrum to the other end? Yeah, I was very extreme. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that w- that was just done through diet. Because mm. uh, this yeah. is pre-university, kan? Yeah. I was diet. Seriously? Yes. Diet? You can lose 30 kilos? Yeah. I tell you, I, I do not eat. Like, in the morning, I wake up. It would be like a Milo glass. And then, recess it was around 10 in the morning. Mm. I would have one piece of nugget, which is like 60 oh calories or something like that. Mm. And then, the next meal would be probably at 4 p.m. Okay. Which is like rice and dish. But like my rice would be like, like you know, uh. not even a handful. Half right. of a handful. And my yeah. palm is small. Yeah. So, it's really, really small portion of food. I think it's like 1,000 calories probably I eat wow. at that time. M- the most is that. That's, uh, very, that's very dangerously low. Yes. And I, I remember feeling so tired all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, and when you're young, you want to play with friends and all that mm, stuff. Mm, I never really had mm. the energy. Uh, even though I was like, I couldn't run. Mm. Because I didn't, I didn't have the energy, you know. Okay. Yeah, so that was, that was like the whole mindset that I had up until I actually found powerlifting, to be very uh-huh, honest. Okay. Yeah. And, and when you found powerlifting, you were still 50 or you were already... No, no. So when I was in, when I first found powerlifting, I was very heavier than I am today. I was like 60... 66 mm. at that time mm. and then and then bef- no that was when I first joined HIT mm. you see and then in the HIT I lost a bit of weight right. and then I was like 61 when I first found powerlifting and I'm still is that weight now mm, okay. it's just with better definition right. like I have more mm. muscles that's more muscle mass now. yeah mm, mm. so um, yeah and then powerlifting taught me to see my weight as that if you're in that weight class this is how much you can lift versus then this is your weight and your fat or your skinny. Right. Yeah. It's a very diff- same same but different. You see. Mm. Yeah. I understand. Mm-hmm. Uh. So meaning, I think it's very typical for someone, anyone, mm-hmm. whether male or female. Yeah. Uh, when they go, when they go work out, <laughs> put it in the inverted commas, is that Workout. um, initially I'm sure the aim is to lose weight, right? I think. Mm. I well, think lose or gain actually. Uh. Yeah, sure. But I think a lot of people put too much emphasis on the scale. I think we spoke about it with Hazik. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think this is something that people need to move away from right. uh, because the numbers on the scale only tells probably half the story but not the full story. I think it's more important for Correct. a lot of people to understand about um, muscle mass, body fat percentage. Because, you know... I want. I always say this to people, tau. Like, I hate BMI. Is that what you call it? BMI. Yeah, the BMI body mass. Because index. it doesn't make sense. A bodybuilder will be obese. <laughs> Betul tak? Am Correct, I right? Yeah. Right. So it doesn't make sense. But of course, it's a it's a measurement of something, lah. Mm-hmm. Or probably for average people. Tapi uh, that's why I think um, the p- we need to look at. We need to educate ourselves, lah. Yeah, and I mean, like. On top of body mass, but body mass is measured with your weight divided by your height, height mm. squared, or something yep. like that, right? Mm. So weight is also can be water weight. Yeah. And some people carry water weight. Some people carry like you know just fats and yeah. not muscle. And muscle is very heavy, right? Yes, very heavy. Yeah. So like, I guess it's uh, it's an okay indication for like an average person. Average person, exactly. But for sports per se, athletes probably not. Mm, that's definitely not. Yeah. But even even for normal people, it's um, if you look at weight, I believe you get discouraged very quickly, uh-huh. unless you just like to run on the treadmill. <laughs> it's just that your lifestyle and you don't care. But then again, if you don't care, that means you don't care what your the skill says. Correct. Right, yeah. yeah. So I I think f- for me with weights, um, scales for like weights on the scale, mm. right? When I was when I had that mindset, it was always like my some paranoia. Oh my god! I gain, I gain like two hundred grams. Ah, okay. Like even hundred grams was like a big thing for me. I was like, okay, I, then I have to withdraw like this. I withdraw that. Like just through diet, you see. Like and I'm like 
like again like the mindset of punishing yourself actually kan mm-hmm. based on my 10 minute research kan right <laughs> <laughs> go on the um the few points that i picked out from right. this this uh, research i can't remember from where lah don't ask me <laughs> um when you said that you punish yourself kan mm-hmm. it, it that research research actually says that mm. and it's more prevalent among women yes than men mm like bila they see themselves like um, uh, a bit like you say 100 sorry for the lalat it's okay <laughs> so i shout today I, mean, i don't know why there's so many lalat i, today. I did shout today yeah. so okay go uh, on uh, uh, they say that even if they gain like uh, a few pounds or a few kilos ke apa semua it, it, they become guilty and then they yes. start to it leads to mm. eating disorder correct yeah and then No, even the snacks that were marketed for women guilt-free. You see? Yeah, like chocolate guilt-free, sugar-free. So, you know, the essence the 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 message they're trying to say is if you eat anything else than this, like sugar-free or like gluten-free, all that stuff, then you're guilty. You think that that kind of thing perpetuates <laughs> this cycle? Yes, I've Okay, um ever since I started working, I get to uh talk to people who are slightly older than me mm-hmm. and they also say have the same mindset of like you know ever since i had a child like i've gained so much weight and mm-hmm. i've never been the weight that i was before you know your body meant to change right. yes it's okay if you want to lose certain weight but to unrealistically expect you to return to the body that you were prior right. before that is mm-hmm. almost like why are you punishing yourself to be that size you see like Your size is just as good and mm. just as healthy. You you look your age and that's fine. You should it should be it should be an accepting thing. Right. Like what what uh, did they change when you tell them tell them that? Well, they're like, see, you don't get like I have to be I have to look a certain way because like you know I okay. guess like and my husband will run away. Yeah, the insecurity of that comes in. But then again, I'm not married. Like right. that's not an issue for me. I think I hope not to reach that point even like when i have when i go through right. that mm. you know so but i think women need to a bit m- a bit more brave when it comes to um owning to their own bodies yeah I, you know um okay, i de- definitely wa- don't want to claim that i understand uh, but what i see m- from my wife okay then your body will change yeah right after pregnancy after multiple pregnancies it will change right And um, you are right that I think they, sh- they should de-emphasize on how they look mm-hmm. when they are older, mm-hmm. right? And for me, it's much uh, I feel kesian yeah. sometimes because men, yeah, I get fat and I get fatter and <laughs> like I can lose weight, but for us, it's never about much. Uh, probably we don't we don't. Uh, what's the word for it? Eh? I don't, don't feel guilty. I, I, no, I, I don't say vain. Tapi yeah. macam we don't look at our physical self. Uh, yeah. That you know why? Uh. I feel like okay, this might be wrong entirely, but I do feel it's because uh, throughout, I mean, in, in any setting, like the beauty is always emphasized on the women. Right. Zati, hold on. We have to take a break and okay. uh, we come back. Okay. <laughs> Uh, welcome back uh, to Baba Junction. Uh, sorry for the interruption. The camera cannot last more than 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, okay, we left off about um, the body image. Right. Uh, you were saying something about why men think uh, oh, right, look beauty. at beauty differently. You s- was, I think you were saying that uh, the society imposes. Yeah, uh, so I think, I guess this is from my personal observation. Um In family setting as well, when you go to like relatives or anything, like the beauty is stressed on the women. Right. Like, oh, you have to look a certain way. Like, this is feminine. This is not feminine. Like, you are almost po- put in a box. I'm not mm. saying men are not being put in a box. Yes, you are. There's expect- less emphasis. Yeah, you. Are, there are like so much. Like, oh, you have to be masculine or something like that. Right. But like, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's it's not stressed mm. on s- as much. Like, yeah. if you gain weight, oh, that's just a dead bot. It's fine. But <laughs> you know, I've been here over the uh, raya I did at the ha recently. Right. Uh, I've got a couple of uncles. Uh-huh. Every single time, 
uh, one of them will probably say, how much do you weigh now? And I'm like, I'll be rolling my eyes and I'll say like 112. Wow, so big. And then so blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. And you can be incredible hug, whatever it is, like, the, 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 the comments yeah. that they make. Mm-hmm. And over the years, I've, I've learned to like, like you know, yeah, yeah. Tune, it, tune it out and it doesn't even bother me. Yeah. You know? I think it's bec- like for women, that also like it associates to beauty as in like much um if you weigh more than this then you're not pretty yeah you know and then and then there's this whole i don't know it depends on what age you are at mm. like when you're a bit younger then you're like uh then i cannot be like i cannot fit into these dresses i cannot fit into these clothes i cannot look like my friends mm. when you're slightly older then the pressure of like oh then that guy won't like me or like Like that, yeah. you know, or uh, and then when you're a bit older, then my husband will leave me. Right. It's like throughout your life, it's always fixated on how you look. Mm-hmm. You see, like no matter uh, what it is, but it's still like I need to look this way, a certain way. Yeah, mm. and I think you need women need to be brave to break from that shell. Yeah, and that uh, ten minute research <laughs> yes. that I did again. Uh huh. Interestingly, eh, because right. I, I found I found this interesting. Mm-hmm. They said like uh, even in athletes, eh. Mm-hmm. Um, more so for elite athletes, okay. people that uh, uh, compete in international levels, Olympic right. and and whatnot. They say they have a body image problem mm-hmm. in the sense that, it first of all, it depends on the sport. If the sport is more um, based on physique, right. then it's, I think it's even worse. Mm-hmm. Anyway, they have a social, uh, what's the word? Social something lah. Can social problem. Construct. So so I was looking at the word so, social and, mm-hmm. and I'm like, what does it have to do with body image now for an right. athlete? Yeah. So apparently, mm-hmm. what it says is that when these athletes go out on a social setting, right, they have a certain look, right? Especially right. elite athletes, can yeah. They look Let's say if they put on a dress, yeah, they don't look feminine, feminine, right? And that is a problem, right? Mashallah, I was like, what? Yes, I was like, girl, I want your body. Like, no. Yeah, same. Yeah, I mean, like I, I'm like, wow, I like women who are, yeah. you know. No, it's okay. It's this, I think. It's because like, femininity is such a, like a rigid thing. Mm. Uh, I don't think femininity should be put in like, de- oh, you have to be dainty, you have to be delicate. Yeah. Because that is so discriminatory. Mm. Like, some people are just born a bit more energy. Right. You are a bit built differently, broader. Mm. So, and those, if those body can come from a natural woman yeah. that do not take any enhancer, right. that's just as, as womanly as the yeah. dainty, non-trained, like, non-trained physics, you right. see? And I think most, most of this, uh, I'm sure this discussion has, um, is, is being discussed all over the world. Mm-hmm. The magazines, the movies, yeah. the, um, the photoshops. Yeah, you know. That's uh, why you need more people like that. Yeah, like you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really you not know. there yet, but <laughs> you know. Alhamdulillah, someone yeah. taught me like that. But yeah. like, you know. But how did you get over the uh, mindset? The, that mindset. When I start training, I become more goal driven rather than f- like I mean my goal driv- my goal uh, my drive is to get my numbers up. Mm. So the physique comes alongside. Right. Like it's not my main primary focus. It's just like my partner along the way. Right. I need to have a certain mass, body mass, to lift a certain weight. If Correct. I drop one kg, you can I can feel it in my lift. Right. If I gain a bit more, it's like oh, this feels light, you know. Yeah. So that is w- how I powerlifting helped me to just get over it. Like yes, you weigh that much, but you also can move this much. Mm. Like forget about that. But do you completely? Um, uh, you know, do you completely like? Don't care about how you look physically, or that's a lie. Of know. course, I do yeah. care. Um, right. I do care, but in a way that I want to be, I want to achieve like what is sustainable. Like I, I know I don't keep my diet like mm. most athletes do. Mm-hmm. I still go to mama, you right. know. Mm. I still eat a lot of junk food, mm. but I try what I can manage. Like keep track of my protein. As long as I get my protein on that day, mm-hmm. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. If I gain a bit of weight, then it's like, oh, I've been snacking, you know, or if yeah. I don't, if I haven't, if I lose a bit of my weight, so I, maybe I haven't eaten enough. Uh, I find that powerlifting mm-hmm. allows you to do that. I, to I do what? What do you mean? Go mama. <laughs> 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 yeah, like indulge in yourself. Uh, I, I think I need, I mean like, 
uh, other than physique specific, then I think most sports allow you to. It's uh, because what's most important is, at least for if you you need to sustain muscle mass, is protein. Right. Right. In mama, you can get protein. You just buy the curry ayam. Right. You don't douse yourself in the curry, but you get the chicken still, right? right? And then you can eat carbs. Carb sauce are ev- everywhere. Maybe not biryani rice. There's white rice. There's mm. roti naan, tose. Like. Right. Well, what I mean is this, you know. Macam, if you, s- if you look at footballers, eh? Right. Um, s- when you read the stories that comes out in the, uh, that's come out in the new t- newspaper, they're not allowed to eat certain food before a game. They're not allowed to eat the certain food. At what level the, is the this? Night, uh, professional lah. Okay. Competitive, competitive lah. Okay. You know, in order for you to perform optimally. Well, if you yeah. look at like top powerlifters too, yeah. they do watch their weight, the diet. Like the, uh, I don't know if you're aware, like at least the American powerlifters, mm-hmm. they are crazy on this diet called RP diet. Oh, okay. What's that? Is this a company Renaissance Periodization? Okay. That, it's nothing groundbreaking but it's sorry RP but nothing hmm. groundbreaking but like they apply the science according to different people type of what? Uh, uh, body lifestyle types. Okay. and oh, what like lifestyle basically lifestyle, okay. so uh, it teaches you because I, I read on it mm. and I purchased one of their template and see mm. how they structure their mm. template it's based on like ti- not timing sensitive but more on like uh, what can you accommodate uh, say I have class from 8 to 9 right and I can't get my protein too early in because then I have to sit down for too long. Then it's okay. Then I take my cups first and then load the protein in the next meal. As long as I get the total the amount of protein, protein a day, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm good. Right. You know, it's a very sustainable mindset to have. Okay. Uh, but if you want to get to that elite performance, then I, n- I think you need to pay more attention on nutrition because it does carry over. Right. Um, as for me at the moment, I think what I can do what I can do. Right. Because... It is my priority for my performance, but also I have things that I want is affordability. Second, affordability, in not just money, but time. Mm. So I don't have the luxury of yeah, having to pre cook uh, every meal. Yeah. Mm. And so, Apuni, uh, one of the other things in the 10 minute research. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the article says. Yeah, the article says, <laughs> not what I said. <laughs> when athletes eh, mm-hmm. stop. Training, correct. Yeah, that's when hell, all hell breaks loose, because now then the guilt that we was we were talking about comes in. Yeah, they just feel guilty because if they eat, then they know they'll gain weight. I mean, because they're no, no longer at the gym as frequent or as often, you know. You mean so like completely yeah. So stop? Yeah, actually, can what what fascinated me about that yeah. that article? Yeah, is that um. When you are elite, ataupun if, when if you are considered as competitive, ni athlete, eh? okay, you actually have a bigger problem with body image, and because of that, it goes back to it, the eating disorder, tau. Mm. I find that a bit like I yeah. I don't know of any male uh, competitive athletes, even at our gym, ni pun, that has that problem. Mm-hmm. Can do I you f- think macam uh, like? Do you feel the same way? Kalau let's say Hari Raya mm-hmm. or Bulan Puasa, mm-hmm. fasting month, you, you probably don't train as. No, uh, I still train the way I train. Oh, is it? Yeah. So it's uh, like Buka Puasa, I would have something a bit more like glucosey. Okay. Like very high in glucose. Right. Just to get my training, mm. like and spike of energy, and then I train, and then after that, and then I have like my like feast. Right. But it's still within the macros, huh? Yeah, uh, I try to fit my macros. Okay. I've tried to fit my calorie intake in a day, but I think I struggle a bit because it's a lot of food to consume in such a short window. Right. I struggled even more when I was studying. Like uh, the fasting period was, I think, eighteen hours. Whoa. Yes. Winter. Eh, no, summer. Summer. Mm. So I went from sixty-one to fifty-eight kilograms. Mm. It was me struggling to eat up. You know, it's the other way around. Um, but I think struggling is almost inevitable. You mm. need that is part of life, I suppose. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. But you need to be able to have a healthy mindset to manage it. Mm. Um, and I think what what I have done in the past is to constantly like if I get that like s- search of like uh, insecurity or search mm. of like paranoia over like 
you know few hundred grams that I have gained, I just need to like pull myself back right. and s- like witness. Okay, have I slept enough? Have I drank enough water? Uh, if I'm snacking in between meals, mm. like very small things, it it doesn't have to be like significant change. Mm. It's just the small things to manage back what right. what went out of the way. Have you ever fallen off the bandwagon? <laughs> of course, I should. I I told you about that final year, third year. No, no, I mean like now. Oh, now, now, mm, not no, no, really. I've been consistently training. Only I took like a month of break of after my graduation because I've been going to gym every day. Mm. Not every day, like every week consistently and at that time I was like okay I want to travel with my friends so that's the okay. only time I took time off so ever since uh, I'm assuming that was two years ago no that was last summer hey. I graduated last summer yeah really yeah so young not really not really mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and, and that was the, the the last time that you actually <laughs> took break yeah yeah took a break so now you are on uh, your diet <laughs> And um, basically, you are taking care of your macros apa semua ni lah. Uh, figuratively, yes. Yeah. So, macam mana? How do you? How? What would you say, kan, to all the people out there yang um, still look at their body image as the number one thing that they need to take care of? Joint out powerlifting. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Where uh, do they join? Still fit. <laughs> <laughs> at, at Space U8 yeah. uh, Bukit Jelutong Bukit Jelutong Yeah This plugins never fails I mean, <laughs> It happens every single show <laughs> Okay So you were saying You you were asking How an average person if I mean how do we change People's mindset though It's not easy It's Powerlifting is not for everyone That's Correct. for sure Correct yeah I, I agree Right So how would they Get to where you are at Right now in terms of Body image I think you need to find You need to assess Why you feel a certain way uh, I uh, even when I started powerlifting porn, I didn't realize until very much later into the once I competed, I was like, "Whoa!" Even though I weigh this much, like sixty-one kilograms, I can squat a hundred kilograms at that time, mm, and mm, mm. I only had like few mm. months of training, you right. know. Mm. So I, w- I felt proud. Right. That you, I guess, for other people, you need to find a way to channel that that weight. What is your weight doing for you? Okay. You know, like it's not. Yeah, it is your way because every every matter has a mass. Mm. You see, mm. what do you want to do with it? At least you feel achieved of something. You know that you feel ah, bad about. I understand. Yeah, if it's not polished, then you can try swimming. You can try, you know, badminton, whatever that tickles your fancy. You see, right. like some people, I know some of my friends. They like for the men, they like futsal. Like they feel a bit heavy and futsal is a bit too fast paced. Maybe not go for futsal. Go something a bit more relaxed, something a bit more stationary. Mm. Like start small. You don't have to like. Go all out right. I just meet powerlifting By accident That's right. all mm. And fortunate enough To find A way out Of my Very very toxic right. um, uh, Mental health yeah. Cycle At that time Maybe we can just Burn all those Magazines uh. <laughs> No I never consumed that <laughs> But um, Okay I know This is a Sensitive punya question eh? Yes and I, I, li- do, I like I, them I, I do apologize If uh, if I offend you eh? Okay <laughs> Ahead of time <laughs> <laughs> Okay Right now um, If you don't mind me Saying you're still single Okay can. Yes You like you like how you look Right okay. now Okay Three, four years down the road Okay Maybe, huh? Your Body What do you call it? Huh? Body um, Body clock Whatever you call it lah. Okay Biological time you mean? But yeah it's, it's ticking Tick, 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 tick Okay tick. Uh-huh. And then You know The The normal path The <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm so shy. Ah, it's okay. You know, uh, you, you know, you to settle down. Okay. Can assuming for five down, you'll see this when your friend, your friends get married. Okay, they are they, already you know, getting married now. Right, <laughs> and then uh, one day you'll be still single. Mm-hmm. Would you? How would you deal with that, Nanti? Oh, that kind of mindset. Yeah, because that probably you probably question yourself, right? I think questioning yourself is. Almost common Even you get married I have friends who are married Questioning yeah. Am I getting married too early? Uh, no what I'm saying is uh, w- With relations to Oh body with relations Okay 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 with Body sorry, image sorry. yeah um, I think Okay this is where religion comes in <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, fine talking about religion No uh, problem no, no no So okay um, I don't think People stay single Because 
of how they look. I solely believe that. Because, um, sorry to say, some people who don't... Questionable people still find me, you see? And it's all because personality, it's all because your values all align, you know. Mm. Somewhat you find a person that matches your pers- your, yeah. your your lifestyle. Right. So, answering to body image, I think you shouldn't see... You shouldn't see your body as like a defect. Right. For sure, yes. It's, it's not mm. a defect. Yeah. It's just the way you are. It's just like your personality. Yeah. Personality is not a defect. Right. If you're on the chatty side or if you're the quiet side. Yeah. I, I, mean, I guess I'm, I'm what I'm saying is that there will be societal pressure, can oh, okay. uh, from from your parents, from your friends <laughs> getting married, <laughs> uh-huh. so many, can. I, I'm just wondering whether, like, f- even for uh, if I can remember, many 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 moons ago, um, uh, I, uh, what should I talk You feel the pressure? For me, it just happened. Okay. You know, uh-huh. so there wasn't any pressure. Tapi for women, because I have friends who are still single. All right. You know, and uh, when I look at the um, the um, Facebook and all that, yeah. it's kind of sad. Did, is it, is it because they blame their how they look? Uh, honestly, oh. I can only assume. Okay. You know, sometimes maybe because of career, and there are a lot of people in the corporate world. Oh yes. my God, there are a lot <laughs> of single women. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm not too sure whether. I'm 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 sure that has nothing to do with body image couple. Maybe they're just focusing on their careers and whatnot. Mm. But what yeah. I'm saying is that can when that time comes when you feel that oh, lama, you know, I want to settle down. This is what you want tau. That right. I- intrinsically, internally you rasa macam you need to settle down, you right. want to have kids, you want to have family, apa semua ni. Would you look at yourself and then say like look Alamak, maybe I'm too fat, maybe I'm too heavy. That's why you know, All even right, though it's right. shallow, mm. it's shallow for any guy to like. And I think my wife is laughing if she <laughs> would laugh if she, if she heard me saying this like because I just like slim. That, that's my taste. Although I'm fat, I know that taste. <laughs> don't get angry with me. Don't get upset. No hate comments or whatever. <laughs> but th- there are people out there like that. Right. Can so. It's. I think. I I cannot say for all women. If you ask me, would I feel pressure of? How I look per se If I cannot find a person that s- Like To settle down with No uh, I don't think it's me to judge Probably it's not um, it, it would probably be best For y- for anybody mm-hmm. To settle down with somebody That accepts them For Correct. who uh, they are Physical, mental, mm-hmm. spiritual But there will be people who feel pressured yeah. yeah I mean it's, it's hard to say lah That there will be people who feel uh, that they they w- the first thing that comes to their mind when like they fail to feel mm. to to feel that 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 need of theirs is to look at their body, right. you know, like oh I don't think I'm pretty enough I don't think like my Th- yeah that's yeah. the insecurity can and that's human nature can. and I think you need to f- up channel that insecurity somewhere very positive and that's why you have coping mechanism healthy coping mechanism right I suppose um, and yeah I think for me it's the way you overcome every insecurities that you have and specifically for body image is to manage it very, very uh, well. Mm. And that is to find what works for you. Right. And what works for me was routine. Like routinely. Okay. Like mm. I know, okay, I've today I've, I've managed to get this done and I feel like I can say to myself like, congrats, you've done this. Right. Even on bad days, I still move the weights and I don't feel as bad. Mm. I'm not saying like I need to constantly reassure myself, but I think reassurance is also important right. in the, in the, in the times where you doubt yourself a lot, and also support system is very important. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm blessed enough to have a f- <laughs> like good friends around mm. me that have very positive outlook on this. Mm. Um, they are not athletes themselves, like my closest friends that I speak I speak to, but they're very supportive. They understand that this is my hobby. They understand that I'm, like I find this very gratifying. Right. And they're like. Please don't quit. Please do it because it health it is healthy for you. Right. Those kind of people are the ones you need in your life, lah. Yeah, but no, no. It's interesting that you say your friends they don't they're not uh, they're not uh, they're not active. <laughs> how how do they think about their body image? Uh, they're very. They they look average. They look. I mean, sorry, not average. They look normal. The right word. They look normal. Mm. Um. Um, What's normal? <laughs> normal to them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Normal to okay. them. Not to society, lah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Normal to them. So okay. they are happy how they look, as as of I that I know now. So um, 
and they don't find piloting suitable for them because one, they don't think they can commit, mm-hmm. and just maybe they don't find the the, the interest in strength in general, strength right. uh, sports in general. Mm. Some of them are a bit more interested in yoga. Okay, uh, but they, uh, is it fair to say that they are active, but it's not not like in strength sport? Yeah, fair to say that they so say they, they do other things. Okay, yeah. uh, they like walking, ke, cycling, ke, yeah. yoga, and things yeah. like that. Yeah, so mm. uh, different people would have different channel to do that lah. Mm. And uh, some people prefer like short stints, like short classes that I used to do, um, because that suits their lifestyle. They only have forty-five minutes to spare. Other than that, I have to go home or I live very far. Yeah. Like for me, I you know I'm very flexible. Like uh, I fill my time with what I f- whatever right. I feel very comfortable with. Yeah. Um. To 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 that, I, I was um. Uh, excuse me. There's uh, a question that just occurred to me. Eh? Mm-hmm. It, it seems like because you said that if if somebody has like forty five minutes only to to do whatever physical yeah. activity that they can, uh, it seems that if that is also the focus. Okay. Uh, just to get a workout in, it can take away. F- it can defocus on how they look, so it doesn't have to be like much. Um, powerlifting is helping. Like how powerlifting has helped you, mm-hmm. it can also be spinning class. It yeah. can also be yoga. For as long as they have, yeah. they have an understanding that. Sebenarnya, if you if you just remain active, there are certain uh, neurotransmitters in your your body that that makes you happy. That makes you much. Um, uh, view yourself. More positively, yeah, and whatnot, right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's an outlet, lah. Basically, yeah. For me, it's just because the other outlets that I've tried before didn't work for me because the way, I, I like to track things. You see, yeah. I like, and I could not track or measure how well I've done in that spinning classes to the next one to the next one. Right. Some people like they don't really care if they can yeah. track or not. It's just as long yeah. as it's so. Out. So it, it it ties back to your personality and what you like. Yes, correct. Uh, in in your workouts, right? Because correct. you need to you need to be goal oriented. You need to it to be tangible. You need to see progress mm. because weights don't lie. When you power lift, hundred hundred kilos, hundred kilos. That's right? gonna be on my yeah, next tagline. Yeah, that's what Brandon always say to me. hundred uh, <laughs> kilos is hundred kilos, right? Yeah. <laughs> Under the bar, everybody is the same. <laughs> You know, um, <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's 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 like switching that mindset. I can understand mm-hmm. what you're tra- trying to say. Um, because for for some people, powerlifting, like I said, might not be for them. But for spinning might. Mm-hmm. But if they just uh, flip that mindset in terms of, I'm not going there to lose weight. I'm mm-hmm. going there to stay fit. Right. And I don't care how I look after uh, yeah. I've done all that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. For me, it's like the physique will come because uh, you ask any diet coach, any physique coach. They put more emphasis on diet than it is to exercise, but the exercise will will enhance yeah. that physique, right? right? So, if you ultimately if your goal is to like lose weight, the way is your diet, right? Right. But the, the reason why people promote exercises is because the mental health gain that you get out of it exactly. is so gratifying and fulfilling yeah. that it's almost like indispensable. You see, for me, yeah. like it's very indispensable. Like if I don't train. I feel so sluggish. I feel like yeah, yeah. You know, and and here's here's the the question, eh? If somebody who is actually uh, going to a gym, going to all these classes and mm-hmm. eh, whatever classes that that may be, eh, but still have a body image issue, okay. Why do you think that is, eh? So, but by right, by right, right. by by the extension of what we have, we have just said, is that once you do exercise, a person when you you feel good about yourself, you feel more mm, the uh, endo- yeah, like yeah, the, the endorphins the or yeah. whatever like you call it, kan? You f- yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, energy in your yeah. steps, a person when you can, it would you would think that it de-emphasizes the need for them to actually uh, look at themselves negatively, I mean physically, can, but why why is it that they're still much? Oh, you know, I'm not slim enough. You know, blah blah blah. Well, I think that's more a confidence issue, a confidence issue, more than it is like this the the the, the outlet issue. Like, I have seen people who, uh, to me, look astounding, and they still feel like they're not I'm like oh, I'm a bit on the ah. fluff side. It's because they're they're not confident in what their body can do for them. Like that's why I think it's important to find the right outlet for you. If your outlet is making you feel like more like cautious than before, then I think that's not the great right outlet for you. Mm. If you're like slaving yourself to your macros and not getting out of that other than just right. people's compliment, mm. then it is not the right thing for you. Mm. You know, 
uh, it is joy like that you enjoy probably the process of like oh my god if I can reach the mm. goal mm. Th- I'm done then what's next right because that's such a short term thing mm. um, what if you can find something that's a big uh, progression based mm. right uh, if I do if I can do 10 laps at certain amount of hours mm. then uh, the next time I do the time shorten shorter shorter shorten then or more laps huh? mm. then that's a more like Even though I like you know I gain a big weight, but then I manage to do this, yeah. I feel still feel okay with yeah. it. So yeah. that's a confidence issue, and maybe the outlet is not right, right. for you. Right. Okay, Zati, we have to wrap up. Right. And uh, I, I mean, uh, any any last words that you want to uh, say to our listeners and uh, viewers uh, come about to body post. image? <laughs> <laughs> uh, about body image, I think it is very crucial that you ask yourself what's important. Uh, I spend a number of time asking that, and still do. Yeah. Um, and and it's okay because it's a continual and it's a continuous thing right. that you should do. And yeah, come to Zil Fit and train powerlifting. Oh yes, thank you very much. Thank um, you for the plug in. Uh, I yeah. did not say that. I did not yeah. ask you to bright, say it. Yeah. He bribed me before. This. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think my my last thoughts on this is that um, I do <laughs> sympathize. I cannot empathize. Uh, with women uh, with the body image I, I know that it's unfair um, but yeah. um, I think you guys just need to um, like what you said find an outlet yeah, uh, be, like be brave first of all yeah. and and I think um, screw the man who actually judge you by your looks I'm going to be controversial here but honestly I mean acknowledge your partner's opinion but it's still your body though yeah It is still your body, so take ownership of your own body. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. We're not saying that you, no, you, no, no, no. you balloon into a you know hippo. No, <laughs> I'm saying some people yeah. they experience prejudice from their partner, and oh, that's yeah. a very that too can be very you know demotivating. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Yeah. So yeah, for those type of people, I think the 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 key takeaway is definitely. Uh, take ownership of your own body. Yeah. Yes, acknowledge your partner is unhappy or how mm. you look, whatever mm. it upsets him or whatever or her. In fact, but take ownership of your own body. That's your body. Do you like how you feel? Right. And make peace with it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's a very good point to end this podcast on. So, uh, guys, if you like to find uh, Zati on Instagram, <laughs> she is Zat Squats. Z a t Z k w a t z. And squad, I just type Z. I'll, I'll put it in the in the yeah, description. Yeah, it's Don't a Zati Badu. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you again for coming You're on welcome. the show. And uh, I think uh, this this show is a bit different from the rest in in the sense that I think it's more personal. It and is I, very personal. I, I do appreciate you sharing with <laughs> us. You're um, welcome. I think uh, it's a good. Uh, I'm check it out. It's a good um, direction that the show is going. Like because mm. I do I do want to talk to people. Uh, I want people to open up. Mm. You know, th- I think that's that's what resonates with a lot of uh, yeah. the audience uh, and yeah. whatnot. And hopefully, we can do it uh, in future episodes. Uh, thank you guys for listening, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you do want to do powerlifting, you know where to go. Self it, self it, self Thumbs it. up and like. <laughs> All right, see you guys uh, in the next episode. Okay, bye. Bye. Nice. Cool. Was it? 60 minutes. <laughs>